Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again, so let's randomise our character and see who we might get and try. I'm going to try my desperately hardest, god damn it, to, well actually, actually, I think, I think Tainted Eden's still broken. So we're going to have to re-roll him for now. Uh, we've got Tainted Blue Baby a ton. Did we do Jacob and Ezel recently? I think so, but... We will try them once again, because why the hell not? But I'm going to try my damnedest to keep a streak going here. Jacob and Ezel doesn't exactly give me a lot of hope of doing that, but we managed to beat them last time, so also... Oh yeah, I forgot. We started with um, quite a lot of items here, and we started with the, uh, the off button, which is really, really nice. Um... The don't touch me button, so we're going to get some free rooms now and again. We also got contract from below, which is probably one of the better items you can get on the first floor, because that is going to impact us for the entirety of the run. I do realize there's an off button in this room, but it's in an absolutely useless position. Um, and yeah, uh, we also got charity, which I think gives us extra things for donating, which unfortunately isn't going to be very useful for us in this... Um, in this series, just because I don't donate, um, I, 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 I'm too tempted by the donation machine, so yeah. So we might want to give stuff to Red Hitbox to start with, and honestly, ooh, do you know what? It doesn't matter who takes this, I'm just going to give this to you. This is actually a potentially very, very good item with Contract from Below, because we can get double the doubled room reward. So we can do that, and then we can do this again to um, go for another doubled room reward. I don't think it's always the same thing, so it won't be keys again, right, if I remember correctly. Also, Ezel's got weird eyes. I'm not sure what items given in his eyes. So we didn't get a reward this time. Obviously, our luck will indicate how many things that we end up getting on drops anyways. But yeah, that's kind of an interesting uh, mini synergy, like super soft synergy. Like, you know, you get the little soft synergies where it's things that aren't really intended to synergize, but they do. This is like a super soft synergy. Like. It's, it's definitely not like a, a specific design choice to have these two items work together. And it's something you wouldn't even really think of as two items that work well together. But it's, it's going to provide us with some additional benefit. Of course, you do have to repeat the rooms. So it does kind of make it like you still have to earn it sort of thing. Um, it doesn't matter which one of us takes this. In fact, I think we, we better take it as this guy because he has more hearts. So it just makes more sense to grab a shoe. Uh, we did get a golden pill, which I'll take as you, which we've got to do that for. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, we need to split up, because otherwise that's going to cause some issues. LSD. LSD. Addicted. Addicted. Let's move out the room for a second. This um could be good, could be terrible. Full hole. I feel stompy. I mean, while we're in here, why not? <laughs> okay, we also managed to get two bombs out of that instead of two keys, which I'm actually a little upset about. We gulped nothing. Tears up, speed down. Okay, nice. I'm excited. Paralysis. Okay, it's gone. Honestly, that was pretty useful. That was pretty useful. Also, I always forget, with the D7, does it have to be a room we've just finished, or can it be any room? At the risk of losing one charge... I'm going to try it. it. Okay, we can come back to any room. That's great, because essentially we can pick the easiest room and constantly redo that. And we got our two keys back. Okay, that is going to be super useful. Um, we probably ought to try and find secret room here, because it's relatively likely to be here. I think what we should do real quick is just do that. Just to try and get uh, a crawl space. We, of course, didn't, but it was worth the effort, I think. LSD is making things a little weird. Grab some pennies here. Good, good. And do you know what? Let's let's do this as well. And just see if we get anything nice. Yeah, we've got a few extra pennies there. And we got a dime. Okay, let's quickly check out the shop. Because I realize we are one off currently. But we might be able to find uh, an e interesting way to grab it. The pennies, if it's something. Okay, we definitely need to. So, with this fella, there you go. 
I know that really we, we could end up oh, one of them's a golden penny as well. We could end up losing um, our devil deal next floor, but I think that this was well worth it. And when, in fact, is that a soul heart right there? Because if it is, then we're absolutely fine. So you can take that. It doesn't matter which one of us takes it. So you can have that. And that's our golden penny gone. And then make sure you grab this. There you go. Okay. Pretty good going. And honestly, these cards are often pretty good. It's a lust one. It's not super useful. But we can get some use out of it with blood donation machines and stuff. So we'll keep it on us. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that went out. How that how that worked out, should I say. Not quite sure what's going on with this room. Okay. That's all the keys. This was a great first floor, I have to say. This was a very, very good first floor. Let's keep it moving. But yeah, as for the question of the day, as for the question of the day, what was something that you found really, really difficult in your life? At any, at any point, something you found really, really difficult in your life that you ended up getting help with and now you find really, really easy? Um, there's obviously probably quite a few different answers with this and... Obviously, I think one of them is probably going to be stuff like schoolwork and stuff. But I think that, like, for me, um, I initially had had a lot of trouble when I first started working. Um, and I mean, like, not at the job map now, but, like, in general, when I first started, like, working a job. Um, I found it very difficult to just sort of get into the rhythm of work. And I think I've mentioned this before, that I, uh, I kind of struggled with that a little bit. Do you know what? Let's just do this room again. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned before that I kind of struggled with that. Um, and, uh, my boss was actually, like, just really good. Like, it's, it's rare that you get, like, um, co-workers or your boss that, uh, that end up being, like, actually, like, really nice. I mean, I wouldn't say it's super rare, but I've heard a lot of horror stories, especially in retail, of people having just horrible bosses and stuff. IBS, that could be problematic, but it is at least, um, fixed to the point now where it isn't just horrible. Um... Okay. I was about to say, I think that would be worth the bomb, and it, and, and it, indeed, it indeed was. Um, I mean, it kind of was. We've got four pennies. I wouldn't exactly say that's worth it, but there you go. It, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I think for me, it was like when I first started working, I did. I found it kind of hard to just get into the rhythm of, um, of working in general. And like, as soon as I kind of got to work with my boss properly and kind of he... I wouldn't say he explained it to me, but he kind of broke down how he got through it for as long as he had, because he was older than me. Uh, it it, it kind of made things a lot easier. Um, it made things like flow a lot, a lot more smoothly. Also, this is a very easy room, so yeah, definitely double down on that room. Um, yeah, it kind of it kind of made things a lot more smooth for me, and um, yeah, it'd be really interesting to see what um, what for you guys that was, whether it be like something school related, something job related, or even something completely outside of that. It could be just like getting better at a video game or something. Um, something kind of more trivial. I don't know. Okay, let's be careful here because that's going to be a big explosion if we're not careful. Okay. I think you want this. Okay. Yeah, don't redo this room because it's going to take forever. I will just save it for the other super easy room, I think. Although, no, there is another room here. I'll maybe just do it on this next room. Okay, so we've got a charge up. Oh, there was a... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is actually another pretty interesting soft synergy. I can do this. I can go bap, bap. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's some... We've got some really intriguing little things working together here to just culminate in some special inter interesting interactions, and I love it. Okay. Unfortunately, we do need... Um, we do need... What the hell? Why is that guy charmed? Um... We do need flight to get over there, which I'm going to say is unlikely for us to grab this late in, but we can hope. Yeah, where did I get that fly from? Why did that guy poo out a charmed fly? Maybe that's something to do with the charity item. Oh, no chaos card, unfortunately. Um, hmm. I think we'll give this to you. We'll give that to you as well. Yeah, that, that can sometimes spawn a chaos card, rarely. We also got another item here, which I would like to grab. I will just bomb this and see if we get the money from this. Very much so. We got the money from this, and you can grab that. That's really good. That's really good. Um, that's a pretty top-tier item, actually, uh, to grab as this guy. Okay, we have some interesting stuff going on now. Um, let's go back to that easy room and use our uh, space bar again. Get a few extra bits and bobs. It was this room down here, wasn't it? Let's 
space bar and then just kill. <laughs> just in case. Like we like I said, we definitely need more luck to make that a little more viable. But yeah, Q here is going to be top tier. Also, doing that and just giving ourselves herming is going to be pretty useful. That was a nice poop placement, actually. That's going to really help for the boss. God, having herm against that is really nice. Oh, that blue candle is going to be so top tier for us here. Also, it seems that it kind of coincides with IBS, so we often throw a poop straight after, which is kind of interesting. Okay, I'll give this to you now. Mara. And I think we're going to leave Devil Deal. It's just a little too risky, but I'm actually having a pretty good time as these fellas. I'm actually having a pretty good time as them, and that is something that's kind of rare. I'm just going to have to pause real quick here. One second. Okay, we are good. Apologies about that. But yeah, let's keep moving on. Yeah, I, th I think we've actually got a pretty good setup here. And yeah, I think Blue Candle is going to carry for a little while here. Okay, this, this enemy could be rather annoying. I'm just going to try and stay away from him somewhat. Kind of worked out. Yeah, Blue Candle is going to be good for just insta-kills on certain things. I mean, this is literally free bombs. Gimme, gimme. Especially on bigger enemies like that. Oh, these these guys. They hit me quite often, and I find them very, very difficult. But stone poop for some reason. Oh my god, I'm having a really hard time with these dudes. I keep forgetting the blue candle recharges as quickly as it does as well. I'm like waiting around, and I'm like, wait a minute. I can just blue candle this. But yeah, unfortunately... D7's not great on these rooms, because I don't I don't want to do redo a room that takes that long and has that higher chance of getting me hit too. This is a good room to redo because we have a thingy. Um Oh, he's charmed. Okay. Maybe it's just a chance when something spawns to charm it. Safety scissors is a pretty good pick up here. No troll bombs for us. And I think we give this to you. And then we uh, space bar and pop. I did get rid of my charmed enemy though, weirdly enough. Okay, pretty top tier. But yeah, I'm just trying to think of more instances for me where that's kind of happened, where I've kind of been shown the way. Uh, at, at the minute, I think I've been—I think I've kind of said that I've been playing Elden Ring. I know that doesn't really coincide with the question of the day, but I kind of want to talk about it. I've gotten to the point where I'm very stuck now. I think a, um, a friend is going to come join me on co-op and kind of show me the ways. I've basically not really been understanding how to play the game because I've not looked up any tutorials or anything. I've just kind of gone in. And I've been kind of just going at the boss like over and over and over again, hoping I'll eventually kill it. And kind of realizing that that isn't really how the game works. You're kind of supposed to like go away and come back when you're the right level to do things or come back when you feel confident enough to do things rather than just throwing yourself at a literal brick wall endlessly, which is exactly what I've been doing. So yeah, I've been told a little differently now and I'm hoping <laughs> that that actually um, pays some dividends and ho hopefully helps out. So it kind of kind of does coincide actually because it's something that I've been finding tough, but I've been getting help with. I really hope I don't lose that burn heart. I'm going to be very upset if I do. In fact, so much so. I was going to say I'm going to buy a heart, but I don't even need to now. Uh, I'll buy that. Why not? Good, good. We definitely need some flat stat upgrades coming here soon. Slightly annoying room here. Double. Okay, because we got double rainbow hearts here, I think we, we have to just do this because we literally, like, can't get hurt. Okay, let's go find our item room first. I'll keep the I'll keep the black poop over my head. I'll keep it just sitting there. Just sitting there. But yeah, be, it'd be also be just nice just oh I tried I had to shoot. Um it'd also would just be nice in general to hear how you guys have been doing the past few weeks. I know that it's been exam period for some people at school recently. A few people just joined back into my Discord after having a bit of a delayed break just because they've been um Taking time, to, taking time away from Discord and like the internet in general to kind of focus on exams. And that is good to do. Um, I know some people, I never really did anything like that, so I don't judge you if you didn't. Um, but if you did, good on you. Um, and yeah, hopefully people are, uh, are doing all right. Also, this is, this is going to be quite some spice here, especially when he spawns Eternal Maggots too. Ooh, that's useful. I think my best course of action here is really just to 
Oh god, oh god, oh god. Play this with blue candle for the most part. Yeah, there you go. It works. Teleport size up to a black market. Now, if I remember correctly, this does take you to a black market that you can't escape. So we have to do it at the end of the floor. But that's a very good card to find. And we just got Explorer's Instinct as well. I love the fact that we don't have to look for secret rooms anymore. And you may be thinking, hey, Turtle, didn't you just look for a secret room two rooms ago? Yes, I did. I forgot. <laughs> right, what we got this time? But yeah, at the minute, we're just not really rocking any stat upgrades. Um, luck is kind of fine for both guys, but I will take it for you because you have a slightly higher luck. Um, let's also just redo this room because it was fairly easy. You dived right into that poop slick and nothing happened. There you go. Oh, that is tickety-boo. That is very, very nice. And this is why I was saying Contract from Below is just top tier for us. Um, and then I think more for you. I'm just going to go and do all the rooms here because why not? That was... That was one of the most perfectly timed farts I've ever seen in my entire life. And that is a sentence that you won't find many places outside of the Binding of Isaac. But that was um, particularly particularly well-timed. Holy... Is this like a new champion type, or is that the Eternal version? Because that was kind of scary. But that was, yeah, that was a very well-timed fart right there. <laughs> this room was pretty easy as well. We got some jumpers, but they're not really giving us too much issue. Yeah, our consumable game is just it's just so good right now. Right. I'm hoping this Joker kind of pays off a little bit. And I'm hoping we get an Angel deal this floor or the next that kind of elevates how we're uh, playing a little bit. Because we're still... We're lacking. Um, not really anything to gain from that too much. The second secret room on the first floor was pretty top tier though. So maybe this one will give us the same treatment. A death card and a scratcher. That did give us a pretty good trinket, I'll be honest. That's a pretty good trinket. Oh, wait, wait, wait wrong. I gave it to the wrong person. There you go. Um, yeah, and I, th I think we'll leave the rest, to be honest. I, sh I should take this, at least. It is a good card. We've not really found a usage for it yet, but it is a good card. There is many good uses. It's literally six free players on any Demon Beggar or Blood Bank. It's worth its weight in gold. Right, let's go fight the boss. I think bombs are going to have to be our main way. B bombs plus the blue candle are kind of going to be our get-out-of-jail-free cards. Um, especially blue candle. So we'll, we'll try and utilize that as much as we can. This guy's going to hit me. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Okay, actually, that, that worked out. That worked out somehow. That worked out. Did we not get hit, then? We're going to get hit here, though, aren't we? Surely. Surely. Dude, 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 that was some fat BS. I mean, I only took one heart of damage there, but that was that was some pretty saucy stuff that he just that he just threw our way. Then we'll give this to you. Unfortunately, that is a trinket that just outright does not work, and we do indeed get the double here. I think we go like this. We take both. Good, good, and I do think, I do think that of the two. This is the better one here. Um, and then we're going to pop our um, our Joker card here. Ooh, okay. Mm, there's, there's a lot of intrigue here. So first, first things first. Hope we don't get a, a Troll Bomb, which actually doesn't matter if we get a Troll Bomb because we've got um thingy. What's it called? That's kind of nice. Uh, right, so I think we go... Uh, we pop that. We pop our Lust card. Um, and it gave us three free extra hearts. Then we can play you a little bit. So annoying that it moves this guy down as well. The Pact. I think we give the Pact to you. Just because we just gave Pascal Candle to you. Um, okay... I'm not sure here. There's some good stuff. The smelter specifically does look very appetizing. I think, though, I'm just going to take Mum's Key. 
The, the candle's also really good too, but yeah, I think Mum's Key's the way to go here. We duck out of this floor. We do get an eternal boss trap room with Prismatic Aberration. It's a very good item. I'll risk it, I'll risk it. The thing is, um, the hitboxes that we have right now do do uh, kind of allude to us probably getting hit quite a bit in here, but I genuinely think it's worth it. You may also notice that I kind of gave it to the wrong person, but let's ignore that. I'm going to stand here and hope the... Um... Oh my god. hope I don't get hit too much. Okay, we got this guy as Charmed, which is kind of interesting if we can keep him that way. We didn't lose too much health there. We did lose a bit, but not, not a crazy amount. The Prismatic is, is very strong, um, but yeah. Also, yeah, having this guy as Charmed is incredible, because obviously he regenerates and he's eternal. And so, to my surprise, he stays eternal. I thought when I entered the next room, he would no longer be eternal, which is, yeah... Kind of surprising. He also is negatively affected by that, which is kind of funny. Rules card, lovely. Um, let's pop that again. This was an easy room. Yeah, th this guy is going to be, I think, pretty top tier. I think the only way he's going to die is either a lot of enemies or a boss. I think he's going to be with us for most of this floor, to be honest. Which would be very, very nice. Also, yeah, I got the red penny, so hopefully from time to time... We should see some cracked keys drop, or, and and by the way, cracked keys are insane for us because we have the explorer's instincts and we can see where the red room is, or um, we're going to actually see some red rooms open just straight up. Oh, this is not, yeah, I'm going to say this is not good for us. I might take some damage here, but surprise, surprise, I didn't. I, I, I genuinely don't know how I, uh, how I managed that, but there you go. But yeah, this guy's got a lot of health and also regenerates, like, I think he, I don't know if it's, like, at extra speed or just faster, but he seems to regenerate faster than he regularly would otherwise. Sad Onion would be really nice here. Um, we haven't seen the shop yet, though. I think the shop is probably a little more valuable first. Let's finish this room regularly. Ooh, intriguing. We can get Prismatic Aberration on this guy, look. That's... That's pretty good. We now have, like, a mobile version of this. Okay, let's see if we can actually build this guy's fire rate up a little bit more with the Pascal Candle now. It is kind of weird, and I didn't even comment on it when it happened, that we got the Pascal Candle and the Scented Candle in one deal. <laughs> I didn't even realize until right now that we literally just got two candles. It's kind of funny. Okay. I don't know why he keeps randomly dying. That's a bit weird. Wait, is he always going to be prismatic in every room from now on? I need to find that out. No, he... Oh, no, he is. He is. He is. That's pretty insane. He's a very, very, very strong charmed enemy. I gotta say, I like. I'm not even using my blue candle at this point, which is, is, it's, it's a more testament to my forgetfulness and dumbness, but also a testament to just how strong this is. But yeah, surprise, surprise. Uh, Ezao has actually kind of become the star of the show here. Oh, I literally spawned an enemy on top of myself there. That was just silly of me. Um, what the hell just hit me then? I'm guessing that was IBS. God damn it. God damn you, IBS. Oh, what the hell? We got the same trinket again. Dude, this thing can't die. I... I'm gonna take double red penny. I don't know if it'll work. But I'm like... It might? 
And that would be insane. We got ourselves Foiled Emperor, a Hermit, Hermit, Temperance, Wheel of Fortune, and a Joker. Okay, we'll take a Joker. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay. Yeah, he might very well be near invincible. Dude. Brutal. I didn't realize that IBS like triggered after a certain amount of time. Uh, we need to go boom, there we go. To a diamonds. Little worried about the the, the um, diminishing amounts of my health right now. I am gonna just quickly um, excuse me, pop that. Saves us a bit of time. That's rather nice actually. Yeah, I think this guy might be near invincible. I'll be honest. Um, honestly, you for your firing more shots, you can take it. Holy hell. We just could use him as a mobile weapon. It's kind of crazy. That paid out after one, which gave us a bunch more money. I don't really think we need much more money, I'll be honest. Uh, but I will say that arcade, also, this is awesome access to the red room. Um, yeah, our arcade did include a thingy room, didn't it? I have the occult also. More red items here. Okay, so I have the occult. I think we just give to you. And then crack that open. Ocular Rift, I think we just give to you. Getting a little powerful now, but uh, hey her. That's a lot of keys. Not really what I was looking for, but thank you, I guess. Pretty pretty successful there. That went pretty well. Right, let's uh, go back over towards our, 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 our arcade. Yeah, I do wonder if having two red keys, uh, red coins here, red pennies, is doing what I think it'd do. Is it acting as a gold version? I think it is. Okay, so... We got that in two players, which is rather nice. Um, and I think we just take it as you again. Yep. I will try and grab this because it is a fun item. We got it. Okay. Bad egg is bad. May affect speed. What? Believable, it's not B. I thought I had the thing on so that it showed me uh, what they did. Maybe not? Um, I want to activate the mod menu. And it's not activating. Hmm. I'm not going to take that because it seems risky. I, I thought I had it enabled so that it would tell me what they do. But... Apparently, that's not working right now. No worries. I just don't want to ruin our run. It's actually going pretty well, and I said I wanted to start a bit of a win streak going, so... It's feeling a bit too risky-bisky right now. It's feeling a bit too risky-bisky. One moment. Let's keep her going. Okay, we do have a Joker after, in case we need it. What is this? Is this frail? Ooh, Eye of the Occult with um, with Prismatic is pretty incredible. And we didn't get our Devil Deal, so we're going to pop that. Our Angel Deal, should I say. Beautiful. Um, we can do Angel Deal. Ooh, the fires could actually kill this guy. Let's be careful of that. I just kind of stood there and took that. <laughs> Don't walk into the fires, my sweet boy. Don't walk into the fires. There you go. There you go. Right. Down we go. I can't believe we've still got golden hearts left after all this time. We 
But yeah, uh, glitched items, while fun, are incredibly dangerous for us. And I think we're onto a winner of a run here as well, so... That was an easy room. But yeah, I gotta say, I do miss the D7 synergy, but I think we're at the point now where our consumables really don't matter too much. We really don't need to be fishing for more. I know that we could get health every now and again. Deck of cards is worth trying to grab. Or not. Doesn't matter. I, I guess maybe another day. Maybe another day. I, I genuinely can't believe how this guy is still with us. He's just absolutely vibing. And it's great. <laughs> and then we got another one as well. Not an eternal one this time, obviously, but... We got an another one. Charity is uh, doing a good job right now. You bastard. I did not think that would hit me. I honestly can't be bothered picking up that money. I, like, I just, I'm at the point now where I genuinely don't know if he can die. <laughs> Like, he just seems to instantly regenerate, no matter what. Uh, press space bar to start aiming. Move aim by shooting. High damage shot is fired towards the target. Maybe we'll take that instead of bad egg. I don't think that's doing anything. Minus one bomb, plus four keys may affect familiars. Um, turn L, I see the P. Probably a bad idea, but I was feeling risky. Oh, there's a Dom Mick here. We've also got the Wailing Leech. Oh, wait, what? We're, we're dropping three bombs now? Um, Ooh, Lost Worm's pretty good, but I like my trinket too much, right? We, ooh, actually, I, did, I left those pennies in the secret room. I probably shouldn't do that, actually, because... I can actually go and try and get a cracked key by picking up coins, right? So, seems like a good idea, actually. Also, we have our shop here. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving this build we've got cooking up here. Pandora's box would give us four soul hearts right now, which I think is very worthwhile. Uh, excuse me, why can't I pick this up? Give me that last one with this guy. There you go. I'll grab that as well. Might as well grab that. And then what's this? The hermit? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, opened up the red room that we needed to open. Fine by me. We also have a, we had a little ghost in that room for some reason. I don't know if it was from picking something up. Because of, um, our glitched item. Oh, this is good. Also, I got a respite. I think that's from one of the mods that I'm using. Uh, I think he'll definitely be taking that. Beautiful. Okay, we finally kind of got the stat upgrades we've been looking for now. Okay, I don't, I don't really think so, dude. Like, this dude was just hit full on with a bomb. And it's like, lol. I don't care. I love it. It's great. Yeah, Blue Candle's kind of been left by the wayside now. He's going to have to go in the thumbnail, isn't he? He's an absolute trooper. Sometimes, that's the thing, thumbnails are kind of a difficult thing, they're kind of a weird one. Sometimes I'm really like, I don't know what to put in the thumbnail. Okay, there's a cracked key, good. Sometimes I really just, just don't know what to uh, what to put in the thumbnail. Sometimes if the if the run doesn't have anything, so it's, it's, it's kind of weird. Sometimes it's when the run doesn't have anything unique or too unique. And then sometimes it's the opposite, where the run has so many unique things that I can't pick, like, just one or just a few. Whereas this one, this one has a very unique thing in our boy here being uh, 
the best you've ever seen. And us just kind of annihilating right now. Okay, there's an angel deal. Uh, speed, obviously it doesn't matter with speed. It doesn't matter who takes it. We, we both get it, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I actually think, I genuinely think the Bible is a better take right now because we don't need the damage. And with the Bible, we've actually got some way of getting things that we need flight for, which I think is kind of important. Okay, down we go. Took a rotten heart by accident there. Uh, okay. We need to be clearing the floor for Explorer's Instinct, definitely, this floor, because we do have ourselves an um, ability to open up our red room. Ultra Secret. Ultra Secret such a fun little addition to the game. I realize it only makes powerful items more powerful, like it's not something that we needed. But it's, it's just a nice little addition, I think. Come on, one of you's got a proc. Damn it, really? My single one of you? Maybe, maybe now. Come on. Really? Not a single proc. But yeah, I keep forgetting we've got um, Mum's key as well, so we're getting mad drops from chests. I love these runs though, where like, just consumables just aren't a worry at all. Okay, now this guy, you could provide us with some stuff. You could open up a few doors for us also. That is uh, quite the numerous amount of golden pennies available to us there. Okay, there's a crack key. You can take that. There's that open. Good. We need, like, deep pockets or something. Deep pockets would be pretty good with the setup. Yeah, the pennies in here aren't going to do much more for us. We're at 91 as well. I could have just used flight rather than bombs to get over those gaps as well, I realised, but... I was a stupid. Oh, wait. I heard the noise, but never saw the, uh, the hand die, but then I obviously realised that we just killed it with the red button. That was weird. I felt strange. Oh, God. This is a... Very annoying room for Jacob and Ezel. No, my little ghost that I didn't even know I had. I'll miss you. Oh, it is annoying as well when we keep opening up rooms in rooms that can't be opened. Um, we've got another cracked key and a red room. Red room we'll maybe come back to. We did get, I think, an abyss card there. Oh, it disappeared. It was, um, it was cursed. Curse of Decay got it. This is brutal. Oh, God, this is brutal. That was kind of evil, that was. Whoa, 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 why did everything just die? I, I think my, um, I think my... Glitched item is having some sort of effect where when I hurt one enemy, it hurts others, maybe? Because that was... That was weird, right? I've not got any items that do that, do I? Not that I know of. I'm just trying to trigger Explorer's Instinct at this point. Yeah, that's, def that's definitely happening. I'm hurting enemies that I'm not actually hurting. Really? I tried my hardest to get out of the way of that then, and it just... Never works. Okay, there you go. We've got Explorer's Instinct. Nice. Oh, one moment. Okay, let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. Pa I, I, it's one thing I've been underestimating this run as well is Pascal Candle has been kind of carrying too. I'm not going to take Schrodinger's Tears because, not because they're, they're bad. They're actually fantastic. But... Unfortunately, they are probably one of the laggiest items in the game. Um, and I'm not quite sure why. Oh, that is an incredibly cool looking keeper there. Um, this is actually really good. Not because of the one-ups, although the one-ups are nice. More so because we're get, we get more procs with this. Because we have more rooms with pennies in them. I like it. Right, uh... 
I'm not really too asked about the dice room. Although it could it could be one of the uh, thingy rooms, tainted, tainted treasure rooms, but at the same time they keep crashing my game, so <laughs> I'm not all that inclined to uh, to chase after that really. But yeah, now we should get rocks every now and again that we can blow up for money, which can give us one ups once we get to 99, but also give us red rooms, which is a pretty interesting thing. Like this, obviously we won't get any red rooms in here, but this is a fine example. I'm trying really hard to not get hit on the guy that's got a Pascal Candle, which so far I've been doing a decent job of, apparently. Okay, we got a one-up. And it's perfect timing as well, because we no longer need our money. Good. We can take either path here. Menorah's gonna get wacky. Menorah's gonna get real wacky. Although it kind of... Unfortunately, it is kind of the inverse of um, of Pascal Candle. We kind of don't want to get hit, but eh, I'll take it. Why not? Um, and we can head off now. Don't stay on this floor for any longer. We are good. Good, good. Good, good to go. But yeah, so if we do get hit, we're going to get multiplied tears. Oh my god, I annihilated that guy. <laughs> he hadn't even lifted his head up yet. Basically, at the minute, I'm kind of just, like, hoping for, um, Ocular Rift to proc. And then, um, that just scoops up all the enemy's bullets and keeps us safe. It's nice. It's nice to just keep us safe. I will blow this up as well. Oh, I never used my, uh, thingy rune. Red rune in the last, well, the last floor. Another one of those real quick. Unfortunately, three, three goddamn... Question mark blocks in a room that didn't matter, and none on any of the rooms that do matter. We are getting some soul heart drops here, which is nice from um, the eternal seal. I like to think of that as like not a seal as in like a seal on a letter, but a seal as in like the animal, <laughs> the eternal seal. It's just literally, oh my god, god, but as a seal, right? So. Unfortunately, again, this isn't a great room for it. Just because, obviously, there's no way a red room could be in here. But, I was just about to say, it could still give cracked keys. So, not bad. I will do this room as well. Degas actually is kind of good because we've got guaranteed curse every floor. So, I wouldn't mind popping a Degas and getting rid of our curse, whatever it might be. My little ghost died again. Oh, wait. I lost my boy at some point. I've just realized. I, I just received this guy as a new follower. But I was just realizing. My my friend, my one and only, is uh he's gone. That is a travesty. Oh my god. <laughs> blighted Urban. You are blighted dead. Okay. Now that's just annoying. It's like, here, red button, you can get an insta-kill. Soik. No insta-kill for you, really. Okay, this one I will go for the insta-kill. This, this is an annoying set of enemies. As is this. God damn. Oh, do you know? I have to say, one thing the game really ought to stop doing is with uh, IBS, when I uh, when I finish a room, it automatically holds whatever poop it is above my head. If it's a bomb poop, just throw it automatically. Don't wait. Don't just leave me hanging with it in my hands. That's just bullshit. <laughs> That's not okay. All right, we unfortunately did go the wrong way here. I know we don't really need to bomb through here because we're going to get the... Uh, Explorer's Instinct. By entering a new floor, you have a choice between the variants of the floors. That's pretty good, but it's, for one, it says it doesn't work after the wound, but also, I'm not that bothered about what variant I get. Like, 
the variants never really make much of a difference to me. I suppose maybe there's one that I prefer stylistically. We can go boom and then re-pick that up and it's perfect. Now that's lovely. So this could be a good opportunity to open up these doors. There you go, you see? We didn't need to open up this door, but it's just like an extra red room, right? And for some reason, the Book of Despair is in here. <laughs> I have to say, I'm a bit confused as to why. It's quite literally the exact opposite colour. Although, is blue the opposite of red? It is, right? Maybe not, but it, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, it's, it's blue. It's entirely blue. Blue is rarely the colour I think of when I'm thinking of red. Look at that. He just held the bomb above his head as soon as we finished the room. Stop that. You little shit. You know what you're doing. Oh, by the way, I didn't even notice. Menorah has managed to, uh, has managed to gain a few charges without Pascal Candle setting off, which I think means it doesn't matter which character actually gets hit. It triggers Menorah regardless, which is pretty nice for us. Oh, God. Yeah, saw that one coming. So we did lose um, Pascal Candle this time. Holy shit, what is happening? That's a nice little speed up for us both. And away we go. Yeah, so honestly, as long as our Menorah's still kicking, I'm pretty happy. Menorah's still going on. Right, let's go. Keep forgetting we have our little buddy to help us out here. He doesn't do much, but he is here for the ride. Might as well check this out. Brrr, nah. I was going to say I could bomb the blood donation machine, hope for some pennies and get some procs off of that, but it's effort that I don't need to be putting in, I think. Oh, we charmed another fella. And another. I wonder what makes it sometimes where we charm one and we can't deal damage to them and they become a permanent follower. Because sometimes that doesn't happen. I'm not sure what's the dif differentiating factor between that when that happens and when that doesn't. Oh my god. We're just on a train right now. It's just like insta-kill room. Insta-kill room. Insta-kill room. Easy room. Insta-kill room. There you go. I do kind of like with the prismatic thing that you can kind of cheese it with Eye of the Occult where you can, oh my god, this is so perfect. You can pass a shot through the enemy and then turn the shot around and pass it back through the other way. There we go. Wait for this creep to disperse. Don't, yeah, like I guess I don't think there's a red room that we can open here, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not too bothered about Explorer's Instinct this floor. If we get it, we get it, but I'm not going to fret if we don't. Because I don't, I don't want to go backtracking a lot. Yeah, we missed out on it this floor, but honestly, I'm kind of okay with that. We got a golden penny from that. Goddamn. Oh, we did get Explorer's Instinct. Okay, I will go back for it now. I know, I realise it's a lot of backtracking, but I will go back for it now. Wait. I just have to say, yeah, doesn't the Bible insta-kill moment? I did it. I was like, oh shit, it does. Fires a cluster of tears, each tear shot by Isaac. Okay. A bowl of tears. Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, let's make our way back around a little bit here and go to the secret rooms and stuff. Okay, let's quickly grab that. But you know, we'll grab it with a rotten heart as well, because why not? The fly is actually going to be pretty decent. Although, whose damage do they adopt? I'm guessing just the person that they come from, right? I don't actually know. There's a lot of Jacob and Ezel weird foibles that I'm not 100% sure on. I think especially when it's modded stuff, it's a little, kind of blares the line a little bit. Really? One of those was a troll chest. 
That wasn't apparent. <laughs> I was about to say, you better not be a rules card, but sadly, it is. Whoa, now this is a this is a room full of money. And luck upgrades, apparently, which is rather nice for us. Okay. Back over this way. Oh, crawl space there as well. Cracked. Crack open that bad boy. Really? Data miner. Also, I never actually finished this room. That's annoying. Cap, show me data miner and think I'm going to be happy with it. Bitch, please. Okay, let's quickly just go and grab another crack key because there was one in here. Just like an infinite source of them, it's great. Wait, excuse me, excuse me. Wrong character, pick that up. There you go. And crawl space, what do you have for us? This is potentially pretty good. Do some re-rolling, maybe get some good stuff. Two bombs so far. Not what I'm looking for. Little Dumpy's actually incredible. We'll take Little Dumpy. Thank you. All right, let's go. Excuse me? Oh, my little ghost is still... <laughs> I was like, excuse me, how are you still taking money from me? My little ghost is just down there like, me. <laughs> I'm gonna put some pennies in here. My goodness. The tears are coming hot and fast. Let's go. Got some nuclear throwing lined up after this. I'm excited. It's going to be good. Okay, we haven't done cathedrals this fella, have we? No, we haven't. Let's just show you cathedral. Cathedral's the easy choice. It'd be kind of interesting if as Jacob and Ezo, you could go through both the, the light and the trap door at once and go to like an amalgamation of both floors. I've realized that's like ridiculously specific to just this character, but it'd still be funny. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not waiting for you, dude. No, thank you. Kind of hoping we could just beeline. Straight to. Not quite. Hopefully that happens more on the next floor. We have actual chests that contain items. Now that would be pretty awesome. Oh, come on now. Double annoying rooms. Also, Ocular Rift is just procking so few and far between. It's sad. That looks secret roomy to me. In fact, while I'm here, let me check it out. Because I feel, I feel like it's definitely secret room. Yep, it is. I knew it. Unfortunately, not a great secret room, though. Was there a tainted Isaac hung up there as one of the keepers? Oh, heck. Hey, some extra hearts. Horn in this room is kind of tough. Thank you, little Dumpy, for kind of saving me there. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's the way to do it. Ooh, an Eternal Heart as well. I don't even know who I picked that up as. Probably the wrong character there, really, but oh well. What? <laughs> what just happened there? I bet yet again that was um, IBS screwing us over. Especially as Jacob and Ezo, you just can't stay focused on those things. Oh my god, could we go the right way just once? Could we go the right way just once? It's getting kind of frustrating. Wow. That was the quickest boss kill we've seen this run. But Minora is like fully procced now, like... As you can see, it's doing a very good job. Oh, God. What on earth is going on here? Okay. Odd. Right, let's quickly go back. I'm kind of taking my time with this run here, I realize. It's a bit going on a little longer than I expected. But, all in the name, really, this had to be a curse room, didn't it? I walked straight into it, not realizing. Gasoline. Nice. I think that'll trigger for both characters as well. That was, that was very frustrating to walk out and it immediately be a curse room. It tricked me, game. And you know you did. 
Ah, damn it, so annoying. You hear that nice crunchy opening sound, and it's like, you've opened nothing. Congratulations. Okay. Bit curious to see how this goes. Just about to say, if we get Prismatic, plus a bunch of um, thingies going on, yeah, he's going to get sucked around quite a bit. Got a bomb thrown at him there. That was kind of good timing. Now, one more, one more phase, I think. Yes. Got him. This has been a very powerful Japanese run. I'm just happy that I'm, like, playing better today. I don't know what happened before, but apparently... I have relinquished myself of my funk. I've gotten out of it a little bit. Dead Eye is pretty incredible here. That's pretty good. This is a risk, but I'll take it. And that other one I'm not too interested in. Yeah, gasoline just seems to be working. Oh, we've also got two? Two of those guys for some, for some reason? I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe maybe it's just duplicating our familiars. Do we have two candles? For the scented can? No? I don't know why that's happened then. I really don't. Come on. One, one little ocular rift sorts everything out here for us. Sometimes, like I said, it just doesn't prop when you need it. There you go. At this point, the eternal enemies are kind of a jerk. I'm hoping for quite the chest rain here as well. Didn't even need the button. But I mean, once it procs, it just kills everything. So it's like, just proc more. Please. Also, Deadeye was like a top, top tier pickup. I saw that button underneath you there, sir. Don't think I didn't. I saw it. Oh, he did it again. You need to stop, you absolute bastard. Just stop. Weirdly enough, though, he seems to do it and hit... Yeah, he seems to do that and then it, it hits Jacob, but not Izao, even though Izao was the one holding the bomb. I don't... Why is that happening? Like, look at his health. That seems to be what happened there, right? Not just me going crazy. At the minute, I'm just kind of, like, desperately looking for a button in every room, especially the big ones. Oh, there's creep on the floor there. I am stupid. That was silly of me. Still no chests. I was hoping. I was praying. God, we... I don't know why... But this item, considering it's like a 10% chance or something to give you these buttons, whenever I get to like the chest, it's just like, hey, hey, here's literally one in every single room. I don't know if it like maybe purposely increases like its odds as you get later into the game, but I don't think that's a that's like anything. But like, there you go, there's another one. And there's another one. <laughs> Not in this room. But yeah, it's just kind of nutty. Oh shit. Bombs, bombs, bombs. Mended knife. We'll take you and see if you duplicate. It did duplicate. Oh! It's from... It, we got a wisp look. We got a wisp for each of them. That's what happened. I see now. I understand now. It makes perfect sense. It was pentacles all along. Right, take this guy out. This really shouldn't be that hard. Thank you, Dumpy. I'm just hoping we don't lose too much health here. Because so obviously, I kind of want to do Mega Certain here. Ow. Ow. 
Minora seems to be stuck, by the way. It doesn't seem to be gaining or losing charges. Which is fine by me. It's stuck at a very good point, but it's just weird. Holy shit. <laughs> ah, that was close because I do not want to go to the void. I'm I can I can just about think I can do Mega Certain. I do not think I can do the void. Right, we're gonna quickly head over to our red room. Check it out. See if it's anything worthwhile. Thank you once again. Oh, it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. This might lag my game a lot. But Hemolacria is awesome. <laughs> also, Pentacles just seems to work for both characters too. That's it's going to be laggy, but I think that's going to be some very high damage. The fire rate is a little abysmal, I will say. It's a little more than abysmal, actually. It's it's goddamn awful. But let's pretend it's not. We'll see. That might have been a poor decision. Stone coming in. Ah, oh, we're killing him pretty fast. We're killing him pretty fast. Also, champion versions of these fellas. I think it's just because a mix between Pascal Candle and this. God, these champions look awesome. Yeah, Pascal Candle plus this is just like really low fire rate. Oh my goodness. You can tell he has boss armor because he should not have survived that. Wait, no, Minora is still filling up. Look, it just filled up again. Oh, but we just, we lost our Pascal Candle bonus. So now our fire rate is really awful. Oh no. We need to swap our, um, swap our actives. Really? You just destroyed that straight away? Was there any need to that, for that? What's going on here? Oh, there's like one tiny bit of this dude left, or two tiny bits of it left. It's just annoying. Don't do that. Okay, careful of the creep. There is creep on the floor here. Ah, uh, yeah, I, this might have been a mistake. Okay. I did just get a lot of fire right back. I lost my menorah bonus. Got my fire right back. Which seemingly is good. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good. Really? That hand just went straight for me then. Oh, I forgot about the angels. Okay. Throw poop at him. Give me a look penny for some reason. I don't know why I need that, but there you go. Oh god, I just dropped a lot of bombs. Although, they are ghost bombs, so they're not completely useless. Once he comes back up here. And we've actually killed this first phase reasonably quickly here. Blue candle. To Blue candle's just going to be there to destroy shots, which we're going to need, because holy shit, he is creating a web of lies here. Also, thank you for dropping bombs directly on our face. I'm just going to push through. Hope for the best. Kind of as a path of their game. This is brutal. BFF, get in there. Oh, you missed. How did you miss, BFF? Okay, there you go. We got it, though. We got it. Hemolacria did a good job in the end. Not going void, even if we get the choice here. But there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.